Am I the asshole? For calling my bill a joke of a father in front of his wife and kids? My sister Rachel was married to Daniel for eight years. They were high school sweethearts and they tied the knot shortly after their graduation. They had a daughter together, Alice, who was Rachel's entire world. Rachel ended up being diagnosed with cancer when she was a few weeks away from delivery and after Alice was born, she started chemo ASAP. It ended up being treatment resistant and aggressive, and Rachel ended up passing by the time Alice was two. Daniel emotionally checked out completely. He decided to take a job opportunity abroad, and he left Alice in mine and my wife's custody. At first he said it was temporary, that he just needed to get things in order before Alice came to live with him, but eventually it was obvious that it would be much longer. He signed his rights over to us, and we've been raising her alongside our three sons. As far as the boys are concerned, Alice is their big sister, and as far as Alice is concerned, they're her little brothers. Daniel got remarried, and he had two daughters. Alice wasn't invited to the wedding, we only found out about it after his brother mentioned it to us. Daniel does send money for her, and they write letters back and forth like he and Rachel used to do in school. I know that there has to be some part of him that loves his daughter, but it's hard to believe it considering how he practically abandoned her after Rachel died. Daniel's brother Wes has helped out a bit with Alice too. She'll go over to his house at least once a month to see him, his wife, and their kids. A few days ago, I was taking Alice over, and when we got there, we saw that Daniel his wife and kids were there. I was ready to get back in the car and take Alice home but Daniel saw us and came outside. He came up to Alice and tried to hug her but she stepped back from him. He looked hurt and when he asked why she didn't want to give her dad a hug I snapped. I asked how he could seriously stand there and refer to himself as her dad when all he's ever been to her is a pen pal. I called him a joke of a father and a sorry excuse for a man. His wife and their daughters overheard what I said. When Alice and I got back home, Wes called me and left a message saying that he agrees that Daniel hasn't been the best father to Alice, but I didn't need to tell him that in front of his wife their kids. Daniel feels the same way. I did apologize to Alice for disparaging her father, but she just shrugged and said it would have only been disparaging if it wasn't true. My wife said she probably would have done worse if she'd been there, but part of me does feel that I could have said it out of earshot of his children. Not the asshole. His wife knows what he is doing being just a pen pal to his daughter. The two daughters will eventually get older and form their own opinions. Hell even his daughter Alice said it was true. Not the best father to Alice? Is Wes joking? Daniel has never been a father to Alice. Not the asshole. Not the asshole sounds like it was something he need to hear tbh. The only way I'd have a problem with this would be if Alice was embarrassed and she wasn't. Edit honestly he probably also needs to hear that Rachel would be absolutely devastated to see what he did to their family. But maybe that's a thought for next time. Telling Daniel in front of Alice that he is a shitty father might just be what Alice needed to hear. You might be the first one ever who openly confronted her father in her presence, and who validated her all too real feelings that she is being utterly neglected by him. Not the asshole. I'd say your heroic behavior in stepping up as a father figure for 14 years makes up for one slight R comment and the only reason it was an R comment was because it was in front of his kids. Not the asshole they'll understand when they are older. The situation that panned out so Daniel comes to the same town, won't even tell Alice about it or give her time to prepare for a meeting. Neither did Wes warn her. When Alice visits what she perceives as a safe space, a literal stranger of a sperm donor ambushes her into a hug. When she establishes a boundary, he emotionally blackmails her saying she is supposed to hug him because they share DNA. Your reaction is completely valid. Not the asshole. If he didn't want to be disparaged in front of his replacement family, he shouldn't have checked out. Edit Grandma. I mean, you might be an asshole, 
but sometimes being an asshole is fine. I would have said the same thing in your shoes so I guess I'm one too. Please rest assured knowing that kid does in fact have a good dad. Info why didn't Wes give you a heads up that Daniel was there? This would have been a great help in determining whether or not that would have been an appropriate time for her to see him. Not the asshole. You're an awesome dad. Not the asshole. I honestly feel it was a proper reaction. I do agree it could maybe have been away from the younger kids, but it was an immediate in the moment response to how he was acting towards Alice, I think the defense of Alice mitigates the slight negative. Part of me does feel that I could have said it out of earshot of his children. I think his kids deserve to know the person he is. I'd want to know if my dad abandoned a child. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The truth hurts and he had to hear it, so did he wife and kids. Maybe his other kids will start to question him on why they don't see their sister. Good for you. Not the asshole. The truth hurts. Daniel kids were eventually going to find out that daddy didn't raise Dallas. He's just a sperm donor who sends money once a month. You're Alice's dad uncle who raised her. Not the asshole, the fact that Alice agrees with you says everything that needs to be said. She's your kid, her opinion is the one that matters. Either Daniel's wife doesn't know and needs to find out what kind of person he is or she does know and she married him anyway which means she can deal with hearing the truth. Not the asshole. From what you wrote, you weren't aware that the wife and kids were around to hear that. I feel like you said what needed to be said. The critical thing here is that to Alice you're not the asshole you're the hero. Not the asshole and I agree with his wife I would have said worse. And it is his fault that his kids were able to hear. I mean he did not tell you guys he was coming and you tried to leave and he came to the car. How delusional of him of expecting he was going to get a sweet homecoming. He did that on purpose in front of them expecting to get some big hug and everyone was going to forget he abandoned his own kid also why did Wes not give you guys a heads up he was in town. He had to know this was not going to go well. Thanks his she has you and your wife. Your sister would be very proud of you. That whole thing was a setup. That's on them. Daniel, and perhaps to some extent Wes since he's allowed Alice to be blindsided, imagine some happy reunion. They're upset they didn't get it. Not the asshole, in any way. Not the asshole. Because fuck Daniel. Not the asshole. You sir, are a legend. You and your wife stepped up and took in a girl that lost her mum and was ditched by her dad. You both deserve a medal for what you've done. Daniel is not a dad, not by a long shot. He's an I who wants to be Disney fun dad but Alice sees through it. I hope all his socks have holes in them and are full of Lego. I love the phrase anyone can be a father, it takes something different to be a dad. I can lay bets he's spun the wife some story so he didn't look like a shitty father. Now he's in for all sorts of questions and if she gets in touch lay it out for her. The girl sounds like you've raised her well and doesn't hug strangers. She knows he's a dick, now he knows she thinks he's a dick. Good news all round. Truth hurts buddy. Not the asshole. Generally, I'd say you should never shit talk a child's parent in front of them but frankly, his daughters are safer knowing that in the face of calamity, that could be them. Maybe it's my personal experiences and biases talking, but it's best children know who their parents are. Daniel feels the same way because Daniel didn't want to hear it at all. It also sounds like Daniel needs to have a conversation with you about how he plans on making it up to Alice for coming back to her country and having no plans to meet with her. Not the asshole he came up to Alice and tried to hug her but she stepped back from him. He looked hurt and when he asked why she didn't want to give her dad a hug I snapped. Alice made it clear she was uncomfortable receiving a hug. Instead of speaking about it privately, he asked her publicly. He deserved everything he got. He agrees that Daniel hasn't been the best father to Alice, but I didn't need to tell him that in front of his wife their kids. And he didn't need to abandon his daughter, then try to force a relationship on his terms. 
not the arsehole the nerve of that man to pretend like everything was okay. It makes me nauseous to think of my husband leaving my two-year-old if I died. I know grief for something like this is not something I could possibly understand but fuck, that's just absolutely unbearable. He needs to own up to what he did, at a minimum don't call himself her dad and be respectful of what her life is without him rather than pretending it just isn't. Not the asshole you can't be the asshole when someone is this deserving of a reality check. You did the right thing in a situation where you absolutely needed to be TA and rip him a new one. Of course, Daniel is one hell of an actual R for abandoning his kid. Alice is blessed to have you as her actual dad. Not the asshole. Truth hurts. Daniel is a pathetic excuse of a father. Not the asshole your daughter just heard you defend her in the best possible way. If you had glided through that and avoided conflict your actions would have told her that this was acceptable behavior from her dad. You did the right thing. Ideally, sure, would have been better if his other kids hadn't seen it, but I hope it causes the other parts of his family to have some empathy for this poor girl. Not the asshole. Daniel deserved every bit of that smackdown. Not the asshole. Why spare his feelings or his false image? He didn't spare his daughter's feelings when he abandoned her and ran to find a do-over family. He should be happy it was said in private around just his immediate family, and not addressed via social media or at a large family event. It was the truth, and he needed to hear it. If it hurt, too fucking bad. Not the asshole. The truth hurts. He's only mad cause his daughters heard it and he can't pretend to be father of the year anymore. You can't take it back and I wouldn't even if I could. You shouldn't you spoke the truth. Alice is the only one that matters. She knows the truth. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Why does his current wife need to be spared from the character of the man she married and had children with? Sure. The kids he's taking care of because their mother is still alive might be upset to hear the reality of their father's character and if they are innocents. You didn't say it deliberately in front of them to hurt them. You responded to the ridiculous question asked of you by an absent person who wants to parade his father when it suits him. Funny how he doesn't want his wife and kids to hear he is a deadbeat but he is happy to be an actual deadbeat. Alice seems to have a good handle on the situation. Who does he think he is calling himself dad and wanting a hug when he does so little for this child? At least he did one positive for her though. He signed her custody over to people who live and care for her. Not the asshole. Natar. Not the asshole, he was in town and didn't even mention it to you or his daughter, or try to visit her at your place. Jeez, no wonder Alice pulled away when he went for a hug. Who knows how many times he has visited his brother in the past 14 years and did not say anything to you or Alice. Not the asshole, and you are awesome for taking Alice in and raising her like one of your own. Alice not being upset agreeing with you just reinforces that you were in the right and that you care about her. The fact that Wes actually reached out to you and could say what he did with sincerity while not chastising his brother for abandoning his kid is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Not the asshole you're just letting his kids know how he is early. They'll find out firsthand someday and realize you were right. Not the asshole. Actions have consequences, and if a bit of public shaming is all he gets for abandoning his daughter, he's getting off way too easy. Wes didn't even give you all a heads up that Daniel would be there the R's are strong in that family. Not the asshole. Well, of course, Daniel is going to agree with his brother that you were mean in front of his wife and children. It's just a shame that neither were as concerned with his firstborn. Not the asshole Alice's opinion is really all that counts. Not the asshole. The bill effectively abandoned his daughter. He can't expect her to respond to him as a father. Maybe it was time for him to hear some home truths about his behavior. It's too late for him to take it back. You can't go back in time. Not the asshole I don't give crap if that was said in front of his kids. It was true, maybe they will see what sort of man their father is. Not the asshole. 
Daniel is a total R, replaced his daughter with an entire other family after giving her up to op. Then somehow expects to just drop in with no notice and thinks he can be dad when for the past 14 years he has been just some guy on the other end of some letters. 100 Not the asshole. Alice will remember that you, her real father, stood up for her. The reason why you're worried is precisely the reason you've been a good father to Alice.